Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how I'm a dog trainer who doesn't usually train dogs. Alright guys, Jessica here, and in this video, I told you I'm going to talk about how I'm a dog trainer who doesn't usually train dogs. That doesn't seem right, now does it? Well, let me start out by telling you why I'm even doing this video. So, I have been contacted, I mean this happened multiple times, but it just happened again recently, and it frustrates me every time it happens somebody contacts me and says please please help you know they have this list of things that their dog is doing wrong or that they don't like that their dog is doing and they're just desperate they're like i don't know what else to do i need somebody to train this dog or i'm gonna have to give it up or whatever and that that is like completely heartbreaking to me because the last thing i want to have happen is for a dog to be um, tossed away like a piece of trash, right? Because they're not. They're sentient beings. They're part of our family and we should treat them as such. But I understand the frustrations people have as well, which is why I'm a dog trainer. And so, I, you know, I'm talking back and forth with this person and trying to get more information so I can better understand the situation and, and help them out and put a plan of action in place because that's the ultimate goal, right, is to put a plan of action into place so that we can fix this broken relationship between dog and uh, owner or dog and pet parent, whichever you prefer to say. So. I'm going back and forth and the person is just like, okay, well, can I just drop the dog off with you? How long do you need her for? You know, a week, two weeks, what do you want? And I'm like, whoa, 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 because that's not how this works. And I understand that right, Kim. So while well, Kim's playing with her toy, she wants me to play with it and not do this video. While I understand that some people's frustrations can grow so much that they're like, take my dog and fix them. That's not how it works. And that's why I say, and there are so many places out there that do this. They're like boot camps and you know different things that's like drop your dog off and we'll train them for you. And so yes, your dog can learn certain things, certain cues, how to sit, how to come, different things that your dog can learn from somebody else ultimately to fix that broken relationship in your home, the, the broken relationship that is existing in your family unit, because that's what dogs are. They're part of our families. And that's what we need to do ultimately. The bottom line, whether you know your dog is barking too much or digging through the trash or jumping up on people or nipping at people, whatever is happening, ultimately the relationship between the two of you and how your dog fits into your family that's what we need to fix. So dropping them off somewhere and having somebody else train them certain commands, which by the way, even if you could drop your dog off with me and I could fix all of their problems, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to hand over your dog to somebody not knowing how they're being treated, not knowing what's going on behind closed doors because you're not there with them, right? Like you are your biggest advocate for your dog, for your cat, for your animal, for your pet, whatever the situation may be in your household. You have to be their biggest advocate. And if you just hand them over blindly, I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine ever doing that, even if you could hand them over and everything would be fixed. I just can't imagine doing that. But let's talk about the fact that it can't be fixed that way. You can't just hand your dog off to somebody and say, hey, fix this problem that I'm having or list of problems that I'm having. It doesn't work that way. Why? Because what's broken is the relationship between the two of you. And a lot of times that's not your fault. I get it. You don't understand. You're not a dog, so you don't understand how to speak to your dog in a way that they understand. So that ultimately is my job as a dog trainer really is to train pet parents on how to interact and behave and speak with their dog 
in a way that their dogs understand, as well as teaching that pet parent how to better understand what their dog is saying back to them. So that's how I'm a dog trainer who's not really that much of a dog trainer. I, I, I don't spend the bulk of my time training dogs to do certain actions and behaviors. I can use positive reinforcement and train certain behaviors and actions and, and fun things to do like shake and sit and all these wonderful things. Yeah, I can do that and I use positive reinforcement to do that to, with your dog, but how much better is it when I show you what to do and then you have that positive interaction with your dog and you're building that rapport with your dog and it just it makes your relationship that much better. So that's really how I, it boils down. I'm a dog trainer who spends very little time training dogs because I'm spending all of my time training their pet parents in how to interact and behave properly to get the results they want with their dog. So that's it for this video. Please, if you are not a member of our group, our Train Positive group, I will put a link below. I urge you to join the group, share pictures, share, um, ask questions, and let us know what's going on with you and your dog, and I will help out in any situation I can. As far as the group goes, I will again put a link down below, Train Positive. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel so you never miss another great video, and I will see you next time.